What's up guys, welcome back to Tristabini TV. So this is another amazing day to get after it, and we're gonna be better today than we were yesterday. And for today's video, we're gonna be talking about how can you prepare for your soccer trial. The first thing you wanna remember is that soccer is a game of opinions. One coach can think you're an amazing player, and another coach can look at the same game and say that guy is pool water garbage. So whenever you're going to these trials, you have to understand that not everybody's gonna like you. Not every coach is gonna think your play style is for them. So don't take one person's opinion of your overall gameplay become your reality because people can be wrong, but always be wise enough to take advice. So how can you prepare for these soccer trials? The first things first is proper preparation. If you know a trial is gonna be coming up in a month, you need to start preparing a month before or two months before if you get the chance to. You don't wanna be tryouts is next week and then you start trying to get fit one week before a trials because a lot of the times that leads to injuries you're gonna show up one week later your body's already overly fatigued from you trying to push it to be fit and then you get to this trial and then you're putting even another one 10% because you're trying to make this team and boom bling you're injured so already ahead of time start getting fit second during this preparation stage is you want to be sure you're you know you're working on your strengths you're working on your weaknesses, you're cleaning everything up because the more you clean it up, whenever it comes trial time, you're clicking, you're clicking. Everything is on point because the whole past month, you've been working on your technique, your touch, all the way to the details, perfecting it for this trial. And as you're training, you're making sure you're getting a lot of games in. If you can't play full 11 v 11s, try to find yourself some pickup games just so you can get back into the rhythm, especially if you don't have a team. Just get into rhythm, find a 7 v 7 league, get some games in, just getting that game fitness up because you can't, it's very hard to replicate in game fitness when you're not playing in matches. Now, when it comes to the actual trial, the number one way to stand out for any player, even if you're good or bad is just being highly vocal. In all the trials that I've been on, the players that I usually tend to remember the next week or till today are the ones that were loud, the ones that were telling us what to do, the ones that were leading. People who talk and lead, they bring a certain charisma and energy onto the pitch. And right off the bat, if you're somebody on the sideline or even a head coach watching, immediately you pick up those who, who bring this type of energy. Because people who aren't talking, you know, they can be good, but the energy isn't there. But somebody who's highly vocal and giving the right call outs, you know, they, they stand out on the pitch. Because the coach will be like, oh, okay, he told them to press and that's why they want the ball. Okay, okay. Because some players only react to commands. And if you're that player who can command correctly, oh, it looks really good. And on the receiving end, we understand that this is our leader. Even without you saying it, you are automatically become a leader and that makes you stand out aggressively on the pitch versus everybody else who aren't speaking. So if you're enjoying the video so far, be sure to hit the like button and the subscribe button. It will help the channel tremendously and it'll help this video reach more players out there trying to make their pro team. All right guys, let's get this. The third thing I have for you to stand out is to play to your strengths. If you're a fast player, if you beat players down the line all the time, use it. Don't be scared. This is the time to show it. If you're a center back and you like making long balls, when it comes to trial, be sure you're doing those long balls because that's your strength. If you suck at driven balls to the forward's feet, don't start trying to attempt them in a trial scenario because you know it's not your strength. And if you know it's your weakness and then you show it to the coach, the coach is gonna be like, um, probably not for me. You don't wanna show them anything bad. Coaches will rather see 100% pass accuracy, no um, turnovers. Even though, you know, you just play to your strengths because it, there's a higher chance of you succeeding when you play to your strength versus you playing to your weaknesses and then losing the ball and then looking bad. And next, for the fourth thing I'd have to say, you just have to outwork your competition. You'll be shocked how many people go to trials and they're holding back, they're scared. Like, there's a high chance you already paid for this trial, so you might as well get your money's worth. You better work hard because once that trial ends, you have to wait till next year. And ain't nobody got time for that. So whenever you're there on that pitch, make sure you run your heart out. If you lose the ball, be sure you're the first person pressing it, winning it back. Just outwork your competition. Just by outworking your competition, some coaches love that. They just love the thrill. Just a ruthless player, you know? They know if they put you on the pitch with other professional players, you're gonna be ruthless. 
don't be afraid of anybody. You'll, at trials, you'll find players that are really good, but you just gotta be ruthless. And on your way out to the trial, make sure you take notes. What mistakes did you make? What can you improve on? Because let's say this team doesn't take you, your next trial, you're gonna need to remember what mistakes you made and what you believe held you back. If you, if you find or did you bring a friend to the trial, ask them, what did you think? Get logic, get good advice from people, and if the coach, coaches are willing to give you an advice, or because I know at trials they usually assign one technical coach per team, ask that technical direct, uh, that technical coach that is with your squad, what do you think I could have done better? Because they know, they know, especially if they, they're not gonna recommend you, they're gonna tell you, uh, reasons why they didn't recommend you, but they're not gonna tell you they're not gonna recommend you, but they're gonna tell you, uh, you, sh you could have done this, this, that, blah, 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 but now you have something to take off of and go to your next trial with. And don't forget to collect numbers, contacts, because there may be a, a, a hidden trial somewhere, a gem trial, that maybe they're just looking for you, and you won't div you won't know about it unless you get contacts from people who are serious about it. So that's how to stand out at trials. If you have any other methods, let us know in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, Jadabin TV is out. Oh, babe, you might just make me go crazy. Thinking about you like all day. I'ma need you like always.